Are you ready? I'm ready. You done with your video editing there? Oh, calm down. All right. Uh, hey. So, motion response and soundscape. This is um. This takes as a starting point where we ended with the motion reactivity. Uh, so we'll start with just a recap of how to get motion out of your webcam, except there's a twist. And we did talk about this briefly. So uh, I'm using a Logitech webcam um, with uh, UVC control turned on. It's a, a Logitech webcam C930E. Uh, it's probably like 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, <clears throat> full HD camera, just with a long USB cable and that's it. If there's, it's bus powered, you don't have to power it or anything. So um, <clears throat> the great thing about this UVC control is it gives you complete manual control over focus and exposure, which is super exciting when you're doing motion tracking stuff because you can isolate all the changed pixels to actual changes in the scene and not changes with the aperture or right. sensitivity of the camera. So really, yeah. really, it r makes it much more useful. Super so, useful. And if you want to know more about it, there's another screencast yeah. on it. Find it. I used to do it all the time with a black and white security camera and a firewire digitizer, and it was all this gear, and now it's just this handheld USB thing. So pretty nice. So you turn that off, it's still accessing that. And then in this webcam input grabber thing, um, there's a link to the UVC control uh, web page where you get the the software it's for the mac it just ends up as a little uh, menu bar option here um, but you can also say get format list and get de dev list so we'll look at all of our devices we have this logitech webcam c390 available here i'm going to hit get format list once i pick the webcam i want to say get format list just to make sure that i'm operating at 1920 by 1080 <clears throat> full hd resolution right and then i hit open then I go back out here and turn on the webcam. All right, so this is our starting point with motion detection. Yeah. Uh, so we've got our full HD signal here, 1920 by 1080. We're getting about 23, 24 frames per second, so that's not bad. But um, motion detection, okay. Uh, motion detection typically works actually better at slightly lower resolution yeah. than 1920 by 1080. It's also much more efficient. So when something's more efficient and works better at lower resolution, you should lower the resolution. 100%. So uh, I'm just doing that with a, I'm not, there's fancy ways to lower the resolution, like uh, dim op, um, but we're not gonna do that right now. So let's just do a, a new JIT matrix uh, that's four channels, char data 480 by 270, which is one quarter of full resolution. And then we'll go into RGB to Luma to make it grayscale, and then we'll do the actual frame differencing. So when you do that, you get this image here. I'm just piping it into my, my favorite patch ever, this curves thing that lets me change the brightness and contrast. So let's change the brightness and contrast. On the fly, oh, make a change. No, I want that bottom slope there not to hit. If you hit that, then you're gonna turn some black pixels gray, which I don't really wanna do, but uh, okay. So that's good. Um, this might, be expensive. I don't know if it makes any sense to do this at all, but we'll, whatever, we'll do it. Then uh, I'm also going to go into JIT op. So even though I've gone through curves to increase the brightness and contrast, I'm going to go through op again. So any pixel that's greater than 0.1, make it pure white. And then I just added this. This is cool. You're going to like it. I'm excited. JIT slide. So mm -hmm. this is a replacement for CV JIT average or a CV JIT running average, okay. which um, takes a running average of all the frames that are coming in. It turns out JIT.slide, which is built into Max, does almost the identical thing, and in some ways a little better because you can slide up separately from sliding down. Uh, so a pixel can transition from being black to white in a different time than a pixel that translates from being white to black, hmm. which is weird. So um, I just so there's all these sparkles, all these <laughs> sparkles here. I want to get rid of those. Uh, so let's make our so our threshold a little too high, and we're getting some just camera noise. So I can change my threshold so that it takes more of a difference to make a difference, or I could uh, try to filter out some of these sparkles. So um, this is a running average now, JIT slide, and I'll find a value there. So you can see it's kind of, everything is slowed down a little bit. Yeah, it's yeah. smearing. Yep, that's good though for this. So then we're going from slide into this big window here so we can see what we're doing, but also into JIT.3M that's giving us this uh, overall pixel value. So that bar is going up slightly. Um, uh, it's not going up a lot though. So, but that's okay. So we'll scale it up. Yeah. Um, 
Now, I just added this too. So instead of, this is a weird trick for slowing, for like smoothing out data. We have the whole data smoothing patch we showed before. And I went back and found that and took out the, the part that uses ramp smooth. So we're gonna, instead of using the smoother, we're gonna use this uh, signal based object called ramp smooth. Um, but first we have to take the number from 3M, which is the average pixel value, which equates to the overall amount of movement in the scene. We have to turn that into a signal. Right now it's a float. So we turn it into a signal, we pipe it through ramp smooth, and we can send it right into the scale object, except this is the scale object with the tilde. So Didn't this know that operates existed. on audio. So this is taking the audio signal. So now, instead of a number for the movement, we have an audio signal that we've smoothed out, we're scaling up, and cycle also takes as its frequency input an audio signal, which is kind of cool. So we're staying almost uh, entirely in the signal domain after we get the actual motion value, uh, which um, makes ramp smooth, uh, it, it smooths it out in a really nice way. So let's start the window here. Whoa, I gotta turn down my speaker. And for those of you who are new, possibly the tilde denotes audio. Right. signal yeah mm -hmm. um, so now it's ramping up the frequency when uh, you move and it's looking everywhere in the entire image it just averages them all together into a single pixel value and then it uh, outputs it here so if I we had complete 100% movement this whole screen would be white right here and then this value would go up to 255 and then you know this would be translated into a 1.0 so, all right yeah there we go Great. So this is our recap, right? Yep. There's a couple actually new things in here. So the signal ramp smooth thing mm -hmm. is kind of new, and then scale with the tilde is kind of new. The so, slide, I think, is also and different. And the engine mm -hmm. slide, yeah, that's new. So all this yep. stuff, some of this stuff is kind of new. So you know what? Well, why not? Um, we should make a little panel for this ramp up down thing, right? Uh, why don't we do that? I support you. I like making these color panels. They have no function, by the way. They don't do anything except for look nice change the color um, yeah let's what do you think um interior purple color, purple always is my go-to yeah but i can't read the text yeah that's a janky purple yeah all right let's just do that lavender color there yeah all right um do you want to talk at all about the, our discovery with the um the easy deck the start window yeah we've had to start using start window and stop um which turns off the adc uh audio processing um and you can turn on the audio processing just for this one window. So because we have these screencasts that where everything's ganged together, uh, we were getting like overloaded. We we're like overloading, especially when we had reverb going mm -hmm. on. That's pretty expensive. So it was overloading that. And then Sharon figured out how to do it the right way, as as usual. So that's I think good. those are all the things. That's it. So let's stop that woo woo sound. Yes, please. And um, let's make sure we. Yeah. No, I think that's it for the recap. Okay. Good. How long? That was long. I don't know. How I got to start that? timing after this. Oh, eight minutes. All right. Oh, Lord.